Hi, my name is Hitesh and you are watching SQL Injection Master Course. And as I always say, don't forget to visit my homepage. Perhaps you might get a very much and a cheaper deal on my website at Learn From Hitesh section. So all of my courses are now available on my homepage, hiteshchadri.com under the Learn From Hitesh section. And I really, really appreciate your feedbacks on all of my courses. So uh, let us begin with this section and in this section we are not actually going to do anything new but uh, it's uh, every section is quite often new. So uh, what first of all we are going to do uh, in this case what you have to do first of all travel to the root slash desktop and you have to check out that in this section you have your lesson 6 zip from if you have purchased it from any other third party platform then of course the file would be there if you purchased it from my home page and you are reading it on my home page then definitely the file is going to be there and in case the file is missing out do need to pan no need to be panic around here just drop me a simple mail and i'm really quick on my emails and i will immediately send you all of the files so i in advance i beg your pardon if i miss out somewhere that was not intentional so uh, with this, let us try to move the file that is lesson 6 zip to our slash war www and in that we have master. So let me go now let me travel to the war that is actually slash war www master and if I do a quick ls and I should find out my file here. Oops, I have mistakenly placed that file into the somewhere. So let me get where is that file. Master, it should be. It should have been there actually. Let me again went to the master. And I, yes, it is there lesson six dot zip really sometimes these things make me panic hey where is the file actually where it has gone so no no need to be panic around uh, the file is with us although if it hasn't be I I need to have do some more things to get the file from my main system so the file is now with us now what I can do I can start some of the services service apache to let me check the status okay it's running and hopefully my sql is also running so i can run my firefox directly from here and here it is now what i have to do i have to travel into the local host this time lesson number six so lesson number six again the very favorite cartoon here it is i hope you recognize this uh, person quite a viral video it was so uh, what you have to do in this video there is again a double query injection uh, what you have to do let's put a question mark id equals one and it says you are n if i hit a single quote it doesn't gives me anything if i hit a backslash here although it gives me that hey there is a double code which can actually break out some things for you so let me hit a double code and it gives me an error if I do a hyphen hyphen plus it gives it fix everything us also now what I can do I can do and one yes it's working and and zero so uh, this exercise is actually almost similar the only difference is actually how you break up the query and that already I have taught you although I was not meant to taught in this I have previously decided that hey I'm not going to give you the any idea how to break this query but then I thought let's make things less complicated and let us make you practice a bit more uh, than uh, moving around the things because in the upcoming videos you are definitely going to use a lots of your brain.exe to work out with the things so with this Practice everything that you have learned on so far. Practice, practice again, again, practice on each of the platforms and the files. Importantly and interestingly, what I really want to tell you, the advantage of this series is that you can read out the source code. Now, if I go to lesson six, do a quick ls, there is an index.php file. I can read the index.php file. First of all, let me travel to the lesson five, actually so that you can understand what is the difference between lesson five and six. And if I do a quick 
vim of index.php and let me get rid of that HTML part. The important part is connectivity. So here it says select star from user where ID is equals to in two single quote I have taken the input. And of course limit 0, 0,1 is uh, just an obvious, uh, it has to be there. Uh, I hope you understand why this limit 0, 0,1 is here. But important part, interesting and juicy info part is here. So I hope this is the best advantage. I could have placed this uh, entire setup of master uh, SQL master course onto my website and I uh, thought to you that, hey, we are going to break into different lessons. You are going to learn a lot. But that's not actually the learning according to me. You should really be focusing on reading the source code of each and every file and trying to understand where is actually the mistake uh, which is allowing us to inject. And also if I move on to the, now I, f I move on to the, lesson six uh, then lesson six if I go to the index.php file you will find out why actually this is being done uh, is simply because we have used this statement here along with uh, this ID so these actually small things makes quite a difference uh, injecting the things and everything out there so make sure that you visit the source code of each and every page in each and every lesson thoroughly. So with this, let us try to end up our video and I hope you will practice and drop me an email as well. Thank you so much for watching.